Uh, this is Art Gaming with the brand new Dead Rising game, uh, Dead Rising 2. There's no creative title, which made me kind of sad, but <laughs> yeah, Dead Rising 2. Um, and we're in uh, Fortune City, I think the city's called. Um, it's like, uh, I don't know what it is. It's a mall with, an, with a casino and an, an arena in it. Oh yeah, and uh, you guys, we, we didn't, our first recording kind of messed up. This is actually our second one. So you kind of missed it, but we got to mow down a lot of zombies with a uh, a motorcycle with two chainsaws attached to it. So if that's not an amazing first impression of a game, I don't know what is. Okay, this is the one thing that threw me off. I saw this this morning, and it was just silly. I'm like, oh, look, a car. Maybe I might be able to drive it. It's locked. And, wow. Yeah. That, that's going to stop you from getting into a convertible. <laughs> yeah. I bet. Okay, so... The first thing that I like about this game more than Reach is that there's an arrow. <laughs> and the other thing is the fantastic storyline, which is also better than Reach, of course, because it's a zombie game. And every zombie game just has a fantastic storyline. So what we're getting right now is Zombrex for your daughter because she's been bitten. Actually got bitten a while ago. Zombrex basically is just a medicine that stops the infection. So, like, the infection's still there, but... Um, it stuns the infection, so you won't turn into a zombie unless you take it every 24 hours. Um, that's and it's extremely expensive. It's extremely hard to find. <laughs> that hat, <laughs> that hat throws hat. me off every time. <laughs> so now you're fighting off these uh, these looters. My question is, why does money matter when everyone's a zombie? Not everyone's a zombie. They have them, they have them like contained most of the time, but now they just broke out. Ah. And my money still does like, at the beginning of the game, you do an arena, you get ten thousand dollars. So it, it still does something. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> fantastic! This is some badassery dishes. right yep. now. You don't, you're not that old. I was gonna say, like, did I just not notice how old he was? He's what? That guy has a tomahawk. <laughs> I don't he know. He's just the champion of all champs. Yeah, I really want to know, like, why he has that over any other. I remember weapon. in Dead Rising One where you were able to get like battle axes and shit. <laughs> oh. How that first guy survived that hit, I will never know. Why does he have a flashlight? Also. Because he's a champion. He that seems like just a terrible weapon. I would never personally go up and try and kill someone that had a, a sledgehammer with a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> that just seems like Love a bad idea. Love how that shirt's idea. supposed to be black. It is now red. Oh, the, the red's fading. No. Oh. But anyway, um, another thing I don't like about this game, too many cutscenes. Yes, we have noticed that. We started playing... Th there's the amount of cutscenes is unbelievable. It's like Metal Gear Solid. It's a movie, and you occasionally push some buttons. That that's it. Yep. <laughs> so anyway, here's the Zombrex. Awesome. And it tells you like, yeah, it's awesome. But if you use it before they took the first pill, they'll OD. And if you get, yeah, see it, you have to give it to her at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. If you don't do it, she dies. How do I get out of this? What? <laughs> the hell? Go. I, I guess check watch. Oh, there what? you go. Okay. I guess. Okay. Orange juice, the best healing yep. item. Yep. OJ is just necessary all Action the time. Is. Well, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> just drinks it with the cap on. Yep. He just he doesn't need a cap. It's just how he is. Okay. Anyway. It's how he rolls. Anything else? Oh, you know, we'll take some orange juice because, you know, stuff's good. You should always have food on you because, you know, zombies, they're always taking bites out of you, which is stupid because you never need Zombrex. Yeah, that that's actually a, a good point. That That's kind of a flaw. Like, right there. You should need some Zombrex from that. Yeah. You, your guy should be a zombie, like, well, twice now. Another thing that pisses me off, what would you be doing in, with all these zombies? Would you be running? I would be running like hell. Yep, but you're not allowed to, as it turns out. I don't know, you might, you, you, you get new moves, right? Maybe one of them is a run. <laughs> yeah. Like, I remember in Dead Rising 1, 
where you would uh you would get like kung fu moves. It's pretty sweet. Well, that makes sense, but like, why wouldn't they include a sprint? That's just annoying. Shopping boxes. Yeah. So also, every time you need uh you need to save in this game, you have to go find a restroom. What is this? You are just fifty cent right here. This is turning into blood on the sand. Just whipping your bling at everyone. Like, is this supposed to be effective? And if wow. money's so valuable in this game still, why wouldn't he sell those? Like, he just broke into a jewelry store. And he's throwing all the jewelry at zombies, yet he's collecting, like, a couple hundred dollars off the ground at, at times. Maybe jewelry isn't worth anything in this world. <laughs> <laughs> just right when the zombies came. Nope, jewelry's not worth anymore. Worth anything anymore. Yep. Flaming craps, no way. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds unpleasant. Yeah, there's an achievement for walking to every, like, shoe store, or not shoe store, but, like, every store. No <laughs> way. <laughs> the stuff that you can wear in this game is just silly. Can you switch out those socks? Uh, you probably could. I don't know. What is this? Casino cup, $2,000. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I messed that one up. Is this like virtual reality or something? That just like threw me off. Oh. Okay, this is silly. Why why do you have this in a zombie game? And why does it cost two thousand dollars to use? I think it's two thousand like Oh Hey Oh whoa. Okay. <laughs> that was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> is there anything else in here? Better get to the bathroom to save. Oh Th yeah. Don't want to lose all that all that money. Better stash it in the bathroom. Stupidest thing. Why? Why do you need to like go take a piss to save? <laughs> like, usually it's like go to sleep or something. But no, this is like go to the washroom. The man's sport. The names in this are so weird. The man's well, yeah, sport. it's funny how you comment on the man's sport, but. Not on flaming crafts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The dark. The dark bean. <laughs> <laughs> Casual gals. Maintenance? What kind of a name is that for? I love how this zombie back here is just chilling. He has no idea how to get out. <laughs> it's like this plant is too intense for me. What? There, there you go. go. And now we leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Royal Flush Plaza, I get it. Yep. It's pretty silly. Yep, uh, it's great. What else do they do in this game? Like, you can, you can combo weapons now. So you can have, like, a boxing glove and stick some knives on it. That's pretty be like, awesome. Be like Wolverine. <laughs> Shh. Um, and then there's, uh... Then there's a paddle with two chainsaws on it. So you become, like, a Jedi. Two that that's pretty solid. You're yeah. like a Darth Maul with chainsaws. <laughs> yep. Uh, There's no other game where you can do that. Not even Star Wars. <laughs> Not with chainsaws, anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like Star Wars is pretty cool, but can you have chainsaws? No. Oh look! I don't know where I'm going. Another cutscene. Really? Yep. When did this game get any cutscenes? I haven't noticed them. Who's this guy? <laughs> with a <the> football helmet. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, you're just like, no, I was wearing, I was wearing a helmet, and they're just like, okay, then that's fine. I find it funny how there's this guy over here, and he's like fairly old, and they're calling you grandpa, and your hair is still like fully colored. Yeah. Like you, you were probably their age. Why I will never. Every game's better with chicks in bunny costumes. <laughs> Didn't you know that? I wouldn't say every game. Maybe. Every single game. Oh, wouldn't it just right make your day if you were going through, like, Halo, and you just found an Easter egg, just like some chick in a bunny costume? Just chilling? Are you kidding me? I can't give this to her for another two hours. 
Wow. So, what am I supposed to do? Like, go out and fight some more zombies? Like, can I go... Well, what's your main objective? Is your main objective actually to give her the Zombrex? That and survive, yeah. Well, and you, that's pretty much a given. What you have to do is you have to save, like, other survivors. Ah, true. But, like... Yeah, that... No. <laughs> stare at a clock. Why don't you go up and give it to her and let her overdose? I'm curious to see how that would look. I don't I don't think you can. It actually won't let you? It just tells you if you give it to her too early she'll overdose and then they don't program it into the game? That's weak. Not my time for my Zombrex, Dad, right? No! It is! Take it! Drink your damn OJ! <laughs> Okay. Just carrying Why? around two bottles of orange juice, a sledgehammer, and a gun in your pockets. Like, why can't I just have, like, a sudden rage attack and just start smashing everything? Can I take this axe and, like, kill her and just put her out of her misery? Like, well, you're gonna be a zombie anyway, so... Right in the head. It's the humane thing to do. So, what time is it now? It's not even six. So I got another hour. Imagine if this was real time. That would just be awful. You have to sit there for like seven hours, just killing zombies. And imagine that every single day, for whatever reason, you had something going on between seven and eight. You just come home, like seven fifty nine, rush to your Xbox, <laughs> miss it. It's not time for my Zombrex, Dad. Now I'm dead. <laughs> Looks like you lose Dead Rising forever. Uh, yep. So anyway, um, th this game did get really repetitive the first one did it was brutal can i throw these yes <laughs> <laughs> on a side note can i throw these saws saw blades that's pretty amazing actually <laughs> this, no. ga this game seems to have a lot of pretty awesome weapons like no other game has this kind of weapon variety that i've seen anyway and i don't count borderlands with its billions of guns that doesn't count <laughs> not at all it's like the same gun but then it has a slightly different stat and then it's counted as different. Like, this actually has a bunch of different weapons. Nice. That was solid. God. Double kill. What kind Collateral. Of man leaves a beautiful woman behind. Oh, I guess we're supposed to save. LaShondra needs help. <laughs> what a black person name, I'm sorry. <laughs> a chair. I can grab. That's pretty amazing. And you can pick up the money after. That's pretty cool. Pick up the poker <laughs> chips. Oh, Gordon. Not staying with LaShondra. See? Shot her in the face. This goes against everything I've known about zombies. <laughs> Seriously, the weapon variety in this game, like, amazing. <laughs> Like, everything is usable, it seems. Yeah, it was like, oh. <laughs> Guess I'm drinking some more. <laughs> I just really need some orange juice right now. <laughs> the zombie's like, okay, I understand. I won't attack you till you finish chugging your orange juice with a cap on. Oh, oh watch out for LaShondra there. Okay, like, what am I supposed to do? Not throw my orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> Can you throw everything in this game? Yep. That's awesome. Alright, well, I think we're running out of time. I can't really see, but, uh, first impressions of this game, go. Uh, first impressions of the game kind of reminded me of Dead Rising, the first one, which, you know, is kind of good in some ways, but other ways it's not. So, for example, uh, you know, you don't want to play the exact same game over again, and you can see subtle changes that they made, and even just, like, the random other changes. For example, combo weapons where you can fuse like these two weapons together to make an awesome weapon which is just sweet um, plus you don't need to run around with a camera anymore that was a pain in the ass like you used to have to run around with a camera and like take pictures of zombies like why would you why would you do yeah. that but in this one now you're just fighting for your daughter which makes sense because you know daughter is your only thing you know they did some good changes Capcom did, it, did a good job on uh, Dead Rising 2 Alright, well that's probably all the time we have. Thanks for watching guys. ARC Gaming, comment, rate, subscribe. See you awesome. later.